Hello, everybody. This is the Shooting Game Weekly, episode number 26. And this week, uh, we'll be doing covering Judgment Silver Sword and Cardinal Sins, um, both uh, wonder, originally Wonder, wonder Swan uh, color games, um, but they're also featured on the Eschatos release on the Xbox 360. Um, so we're actually, uh, you know, kind of going full circle now with all the MKI games. We got Ginga Force, Eschatos, and now these games are going to be covered on SCG Weekly. So <clears throat> that's really cool that we're actually getting all the games represented. Um, definitely won't be doing any MKI ever again. <laughs> no, but uh, I think he's done a couple other games. But uh, so yeah, this week uh, we will be t taking a look at um, a couple uh, really fantastic replays from. Color Thief, who will be joining for commentary as well, um, along with uh, Koa, is what um, also pretty good at this game as well. So they they will also be they'll be joining us. So Color Thief, uh, greetings. Oh hey guys. And Koa, just hey guys. And of course we got Soda streaming for us, so that's awesome as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Frenetic, I don't know where he is, but he might pop in here and make everyone's day happy. But that, so that, um, so yeah, Judgment Silver Sword and Carnal Sands. We're gonna be taking a look at uh, Judgment Silver Sword first. Uh, what I mean, what what can we say about these games? Um, I don't remember. Uh, do you do you guys know uh, offhand uh, when when these games first came out on the Wonder Swan Wonder Swan Color? Yeah, my understanding, Judgment Silver Sword started like as a homebrew or whatever Wonder Witch project in two thousand and one. Yep. I think the cart release. Uh, if I've got my dates right, I think it came out like several years later, like in 2004. Mm. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and then, so yeah, you, you guys can see in this title card, I actually have a picture of the game um, on the Wonder Swan color, just so you guys can see um, what it actually looks like. And you can uh, play it uh, Tate on the uh, handheld, which is as something I've only really seen the PSP do with some of the PSP um, Smuff collections, but it definitely, that's how. I, how it was originally played and it's really cool that they uh you know they brought these games on the eschatos release of course um mm. but yeah they're um they're great games uh i guess i will go straight to the kind of gameplay um how the game plays out uh you know uh, i guess i'll just hand it over to uh color thief if you want to just talk about um kind of what we're going to be looking at here in uh judgment silver sword Okay, uh, so Judgment Silver Sword, uh, it's a run where I score 69 million, uh, otherwise known as less than a million better than Koa. Um, yeah. Oh, good, sure. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's number two on the leaderboard right now, um, so it, it, it's okay, I guess. I'd like to do better someday. Um, yeah, it's, I, I do a, a 1cc of the game. Uh, it's pretty generous with extends, so uh, you will see lots of deaths and whatnot, but it, it's nevertheless uh, an okay scoring run, uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be entertaining. Okay, cool. Um, then it's, uh, So I guess, do you want to talk about how the stages unfold in the game too, I guess? Yeah, like... Uh, most shooting games have like five stages or whatever. Um, just like uh, Eschatos, the uh, the game isn't really broken down into stages. Uh, instead, it's broken in down to like little areas, which are uh, sometimes very short. Towards the end, they get pretty long, but like they're they're over before they start sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but you can consider like five or six of those in a row to be like one stage vaguely. Uh, there are stages that are like just bosses or mini bosses and what have you. Um, yeah, so you, you play these one at a time. You get a time bonus uh, depending on how fast you clear it. Um, it that's not a big part of the points. Um, um, well, technically, in this game, they are broken down into stages. Sorry, the odd broken down what? Um, like. In this game, they are kind of broken down into stages, as you can, as you can see in the option. Oh, yeah, you mean like, yeah, the level select. Yeah, they, they break them down into six so-called stages there, but uh, it's really just 31 areas. Yeah, yeah. 31 plus the, uh, yeah, that's about it. 
<clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah, it's uh you know pretty much you can I mean Eschatos was kind of developed as a true kind of spiritual sequel to Judgment Silver Sword. They play very similarly. Um, mm -hmm. I think one of the main differences is that the shield is not as godlike as it is in Eschatos. <laughs> It's like uh, it doesn't really protect you as well, but uh, I know I think you will be using it a little bit. But you you have the same uh, you, you know the shield, the spread shot, and the main and the main shot and the straight shot, yeah. So, yeah, the like, shield the shield is interesting in this one here. Like uh, you can cancel bullets with it, but like the bullets push you back, uh, so the bullets lose momentum as you like slow them down with your shield. But they 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 also like push back with you, so it feels um, I don't know it. it like when you get physics and stuff like that acting together, it it's a pretty cool game world. When when I play Eschatos after playing some Judgment Silver Sword, it feels like inert, like mm -hmm. like uh, like it's not really alive or something. Well, I don't there, know. Yeah, there's only uh, like a few uh, attacks in Eschatos where it actually pushes you back a lot. Yeah, um, I noticed. Whereas in Judgment Silver Sword, a lot of the bullets will kind of push you back and. Um, you're really like the shield is a lot more frail. I I feel like, yeah. Um, in comparison, but uh, I mean, um, so yeah. Uh, as far as the scoring system goes, you want to just kind of go over that. Um, as uh, as far as uh, this replay is going to go, and then we can get into the replay. Okay, so like, there you get points for destroying enemies, and there's a multiplier, and it's straight like multiplier times number of points enemy gives you equals your score from that kill. Uh, to get the multiplier higher um, when you attack stuff it goes up a little bit um, but it drains over time um, so if you're not constantly keeping the pressure on like if there's a gap in what you're doing uh, the, the multiplier can rapidly drain back down to nothing um, so like shots connecting with enemies uh, contribute to increasing the multiplier uh, and you can point blank things with your shield that will also uh, increase the multiplier. Uh, really, you want to be getting a lot of hits done. So a lot of what you'll be seeing uh, for jacking up the multiplier will be either point blanking with the shield or point blanking with the wide shot and straight shot at the same time uh, with a special attack technique um, that that is used in these games. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So uh, the way the buttons are mapped in this game, uh, three attacks, I guess, if you want to consider the shield an attack. Uh, first button is straight shot. Second button is wide shot. Third button is shield. Uh, and each later button has like precedence over the earlier one. So if you're holding straight shot and you press wide shot, your straight shot goes away and your wide shot comes out. But if you're holding wide shot and you press straight shot, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Like there's that level of priority. Uh, so because the wide shot doesn't really fire continuously, there's sort of a point blanking effect where unless you're super close, it, it's like staggered pulses of, of, of wide shot. Right. Um, if, if, if you're holding straight shot and point blanking enemy and like rapidly tapping wide shot, you can still get most of the wide shots out. Oh, uh, wow. And so you're dealing damage with your straight shot and you're dealing extra damage with your wide shot and you're getting tons of hits. Like if you would have normally killed something with one hit with a straight shot and you hit it with a wide shot and a straight shot, like you'll, you'll kill it in two hits instead of one. So it's like better for jacking up your multiplier. Uh, hey and that's a pro tip right there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if, if you're point blanking something with a straight shot and mashing the wide shot, it can be almost as good as uh, point blanking something with a shield. Like if you're connecting every single bullet that leaves your gun, it's it's a really powerful way of jacking up the multiplier. Okay, sweet. And then uh, then also. Um... Oh yeah, <laughs> the other side of the scoring. Right. So um, yeah, I I play through the game quite thoroughly without even knowing this uh, and, and later discovered that uh, you can get a no shield, no miss bonus. So the, the, the game doesn't really have any hints to suggest this is even possible. Uh, but if you don't uh, connect your shield with an enemy or bullet and you don't die, then gradually over time, uh, your multiplier has a lower 
uh, sorry, the, the low end of the multiplier, instead of being times one, it, it'll like, the minimum will rise. Right. Uh, and it starts very, very, very modestly. Like, so it's times yeah. two for a while, but it, it, it climbs up and uh, the best I've been able to do, I think is area 26 or 27. I, 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 can, I, I can beat the twin mirror shields uh, with no shield, no, no death. Mm. And I think the multiplier was like about 20, 20 something, like oh, mid twenties wow. maybe. So oh, wow. that means every kill is at least that many points. You get a ridiculous number of points for doing that. But right. the, the payoff for doing that, it, like unless you can actually get that far, it's like borderline whether it's even better. You, uh, for yeah. new players, I would definitely recommend getting used to the shield and uh, uh, only when you're good enough to um, like maybe at least make it to area 30 uh, would you even want to consider not using your shield at all. Because it's really important to get to know your shield. Um, and uh, it's, it's not really feasible that you'll get more points unless you can actually pull off uh, the, uh, the the no death with no shield for at least like 20 areas or something. It's good advice there. Mm. Okay, great, great. All right, well, I think that will pretty much cover, uh, um, you know, the premise for the replay. So I suppose we can just get into it now and yeah, uh, totally. and uh, probably get into some uh, various, you know, little things that uh, will be, that we'll talk about in, the, in this replay. All right, then I shall do a countdown and we will watch it and check it out. All right, three. Oh, it's going to be on three, two, one click, by the way. So, all right, three, two, one click. Okay, so you can see I'm playing the game Tated. Uh, I actually played it on a cab uh, with controls. So uh, when you see me. Uh, mashing a wide shot which i'm not doing yet um uh, like here see that oh there it is yeah. yeah yeah and i kill that guy real quick like um when i'm mashing like that like um don't get too excited but that's like all natural auto fire well what do you mean by that exactly <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> the i'm mashing the buttons myself oh cool right 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 <laughs> All, yeah, me, all, it's, it's, all, it's all natural. You threw yeah. me off with the all natural. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> I, I mean, they're not implants, is what I'm saying. Gotcha, mm. gotcha. Um, so yeah, we saw the extend item already appear. So the extends come like every uh, certain amount of enemies, or what is it's, that? It's like yeah, exactly? um, all of, I I don't know how it works exactly, uh, but roughly when stuff explodes there's got to be some sort of counter going up uh, behind the scenes uh, and whenever you hit a certain threshold an extend pops out yeah. uh, what's interesting about that is I said stuff explodes and I chose those words kind of carefully because your own ship exploding is actually worth a lot of points towards getting another extend uh, really yeah <laughs> what the hell? So, uh, I, I don't know. I guess it's a way of making the game easier for the people who are dying a lot. But okay. yeah, it's like those are all extends you're not going to get necessarily unless you're already dying, in which case you don't have the lives. And I don't know. It's yeah, but di dying definitely uh, helps your extends. Sometimes you can die on your last life and an extend pops out. <laughs> and the game is oh, yeah. actually really nice about it. Uh, that extend then just kind of hovers towards the spawn point of the screen and turns into your ship and it says nice recovery like they specifically programmed something in so that you wouldn't get pissed off when you lose your last life with an extend on the screen yeah I know that's cool that's one of my favorite things about this game right <laughs> oh see oh, oh I yeah if you guys weren't paying attention you would have missed that I got an extend there and you, you're you're invincible for a brief period afterwards so I was invincible and I like jumped right in the middle of a whole bunch of bullets Point without even them. caring. Yeah, and so that's that, a really nice trick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a good tip. Yeah, to know for sure. So this boss, you can milk him and destroy a few more missiles, uh, which maybe can help you get an extra extend. Uh, but boss milking is stupid, so I, I just kill him quickly. Yeah, that's uh, that wide and, and uh, straight shot technique really does get that multiplier going up. That's cool. Yeah, so 
like there are different circumstances when you want just straight shot and just wide shot and then like the mashing technique and then like the shield so it it really feels like you have like these four options and you oh, just have okay. to figure out the the best way of, of killing stuff yeah gotcha. uh, so here like i'm 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 holding the straight shot, like, on those harder enemies that shoot the big bullets. Yeah, uh, how come I never knew about this straight and wide shot thing? <laughs> yeah, I would not want to try doing this on a Wonder Swan. That would be terrible. I see, I see. This yeah. guy looks a little tricky to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it should be starting to pick up now. 12th area. If, if you're shielding these guys, you can, like, kill them two at a time. It's pretty cool. But now that I have to go for the no shield, no death bonus, I have to point blank them instead. Right, and you can, yeah, you can use the shield offensively. Yeah. I think we forgot to the, mention. Yeah, the, the shield offensively is really cool because uh, as long as you're only connecting with enemies and not bullets, you'll keep 100% of your shield power. It's only bullets that drain your shield. Um, oh, okay. So that's another difference from Eskatos, I think. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so you, you can actually use your shield a lot if you're just using it to uh, to kill an enemy and not his bullets. So a little bit of misdirection there to uh, just make all those bullets go nowhere near me. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that you went all the way around that. Recently. So it seems like the multiplier is kind of capping out around 23. Uh, well, this guy, because he's so wide, every single bullet I'm firing is connecting with something. So my baseline, you'll see right now, dropped to times five. I actually jacked it up to uh, to uh, 30 or whatever that was uh, just by connecting lots of hits. So does it add the base then when you're like when you're uh, get jacking it up uh, with the other shots? I, I think it's like the same as normal, except uh, it can't fall below a certain point. I think okay. that's the only difference. Oh, okay. Yep, so you got it at, at X7 now because of the uh, no shield thing we are talking about. Yeah, so it, it'll start to add up a lot more quickly now. And then, like in Eskatos, you know, the various bullets have a uh, different durability uh, related to your shield. Yeah. So that's also something to uh, remember for new players. Yeah. Anything that's big or anything that's weird, like square or diamond or star or whatever shape, will be pretty strong. And, like, these ones are weak, but yeah. uh, I can weave around them. There's lots of homing lasers in this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, this section is neat. Uh, you like it's little guys, but you can connect most of your shots uh, doing the, the the mashing trick there. Mm -hmm. So the the multiplier is getting pretty high. Um, you have to be at the top of the screen to really make the mashing have full effect, because otherwise it takes too long for your wide shot to uh, to get used up. You know the the Raiden or whatever. Yeah. Uh, point blanking like mechanic. So you stay at the top, and then you kind of pull back if it's a tight squeeze, because the bullets get more spread out at the bottom of the screen. So it's like a trade-off there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of slowdown in this game too, which is yes. Oh, I did not mention that, but sometimes I will do the uh, straight with wide mashing trick just to introduce slowdown. Oh, sweet. Like, if there's nothing else going on, it's not going to make a difference. But if there are even, like, a, a few bullets on the screen, uh, it slows things down, and it makes dodging easier. Um, one thing about this game on Wonder Swan, uh, a lot of people probably don't know this, but the Wonder Swan wasn't a 60 frames per second system. It actually ran at, like, 71 point something. Um, so it's, it's actually faster than uh, what your Xbox will allow. Mm. Um, so by slowing down the game, you're also seeing all the frames, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, no, uh, it does, it does. So, yeah, and, like, it's not just slowing down, but, like, you're, you're getting the full frame rate effect. And, uh, uh, see, like, I'm mashing here so I can do the tight little dodges. Um, nice. if I have to do a tight dodge with slow bullets, it's, it, like, it, it helps you get that little bit extra precision. Oh, you just go around like that? Oh, duh. Yeah. 
And more than the lasers, the, la the lasers aren't that bad, but going around makes his slow bullets that stay on screen forever, because he's firing them all to the right and up the top, they're not on the screen anymore, and you have, like, this open field for dodging the lasers. It's, uh, it's a lot easier without the, uh, the slow bullets, like a little minefield around the screen. Nice. And these guys are crazy when they get going. Yeah, this is a fun attack. <laughs> I, I like how random this attack is. Uh, people don't normally praise that kind of thing in a shooting game, but uh, a lot of what this game does forces you to think on the spot and improvise. Uh, uh, so there, there's that attack, but there, there are lots of other ones too. Like, uh, do you guys know the game Simon? Like yeah. from the 70s or whatever? The, yeah, the memory game? Yeah, the beeping colors. Mm -hmm. this, this game has a lot of attacks where it, it'll shoot a bunch of stuff on screen, but it, it won't, they, it's like shooting things that will shoot. So they, they come out in a certain order, and then they're going to fire in a certain order afterwards. And there, there's usually a very reasonable way of dodging it, but you have to very quickly memorize what order they came out at, process that information into a, into a safe path. And it's just like Simon, you know, like you have to think of what order they're going to come out at with. So I'll, I'll point that out. The last boss does it. Uh, special modes E3 final boss has several patterns I think that are kind right. of like that. You need to but, point out the Simon because. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it, I love that aspect of these bullet patterns. I don't know other shooting games that do that. Like weird Simon attack patterns. Maybe, maybe there are some, but I, I just don't know them. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was kind of tricky. Yeah, th this at this point it gets really hard to uh, re keep your no death, no shield bonus. Mm -hmm. Do you see my baseline's times 17 yeah, right it's, now? Yeah, it's really good right now. You've already got more points than I've ever scored in this game. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just from that base multiplier, I think, doing the work. This is a really cool pattern to dodge without shield. Oh, nice. Slipped, slipped right in between there, just perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> that was some Simon shit. <laughs> Can't get over that comparison. Mm. Dang, X uh, 30. Yeah, see, like, every bullet's connecting there. It's really great. And then you just kind of stay as high as you dare, and that way more of your bullets will connect, and you'll get a better multiplier. Um, but, yeah, it's hard, so I... Don't hesitate to pull back if I feel the need. <laughs> yeah, dang. <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, no, not quite yet. There's a... So you saw a mirror shield earlier. Uh, level 26, I think it is, is double mirror shield. It's pretty cool. It's like double hibachi or something from uh, uh, the, the death version of uh, Dodon Pachi Daiojo. But, like, it's, it, it's just a regular boss. And it's really depressing when you're first learning the game because you, you fight one mirror shield and that's a it's a pretty hard boss fight when you're learning it for the first time. And um, yeah, yeah, just like six stages later, you fight two of them. Yeah. And like they're, they're slightly easier versions of themselves. So it's not literally doubling the difficulty, but it's still pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, well, you have to consider that because there's two of them, there's going to be a lot more slowdown, so that's, yeah. that's a lot more leeway as well. Yeah, so there's there's more slowdown, and the final crazy attack where they kind of, like, pop all over the place, mm -hmm. uh, that one, they, they don't have as many bullets, like, they don't spread out as wide, so that that's easier to dodge as well. So there, there are a few ways you can go about killing these guys. Uh, I like to kill one oh. and then the other. Uh, or you, you could kill both at the same time if you like and, and keep the patterns consistent. But I killed just one and then I used the slowdown of the other's bullets to get an edge in, in killing uh, the, the one that's popping around like crazy. Because it's yeah. not that crazy when the game is like slow to a crawl. Uh, and then once he's dead and you just have one guy, well, you, it, it's not that bad because if you've gotten here, you've already done that once before. Yeah, figuring out how to beat these guys is such a challenge. 
first to try and figure it out. Everything kills you, basically. So this this is embarrassing here. Like oh. I don't know if I didn't see that bullet or what, but I there is no reason I should have died to that. Like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you it just kind of like... you went you kind of did a side uh, parked into that one. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah. But yeah, I've only beaten these guys with a no shield, no death bonus once. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, last night. Easy. But I also got this run last night, so... Cool. Yeah, very... All right, right on. Fresh replays. Dang, yeah, so that worked out. So, yeah, there are only three here. When you fight just one of them, uh, there are, like, I think five bullets. So when they spread out, it's, like, really this massive wall that is hard to escape from. Um... But yeah, this pattern is really insane. These guys loop around in a circle and shoot at you and shit, and it's crazy, unless you know how to handle it. So if you position yourself right up in their face and fire constantly... Oh, that's they, how you they, do it. They just all die. So it goes from being the hardest pattern ever to being, like, really easy and just a lot of points. Uh, and then I just tap down slowly and dodge the red ones. But you can't, like, fully dodge because there's so much other stuff going on that... Uh, you, you really need to maintain that upwards center position. Right. The hitbox is uh, pretty small in the game, right? It's yeah. Just like that center square, right, on the ship? Yeah, it's exactly that center square, not including the black outline. It's just a tiny little silver within that center square. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. But even so, it's actually pretty hard to tell because this is actually one of, one of the few bullet tells where the bullet goes underneath the ship, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, I oh I know. Okay, yeah. Like, the layer. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, yeah so I, I, that would make it a little bit weirder. I think the, the outline on the bullets and the enemies and the outline on the ship, I, I don't think they collide. Like, I think those can overlap. Funny enough, I've actually died once because I didn't know there was a bullet underneath me. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely getting a bit more hectic now. Yeah, and like these levels, I'm I'm doing a lot of the uh, the mashing trick. Like, right. uh, if you're not outputting that much damage, it is a lot harder to survive. Because um, yeah, for real, yeah. man. This is this is like opening my eyes right now with this this technique that you're using. Cause I I, I was never using it, so it's like it was a lot more difficult. <laughs> These guys are like a pain in the ass. They're they're just trolls. Like they dive at you kamikaze style really fast, and they're hard yeah. to kill. Oh yeah, this pattern, tough one. I know it's coming, but I don't know. That, that's probably my least favorite pattern in the whole game. Is I weird, love this. Yeah. This this is like a trademark of MKI, just like a shit ton of missiles coming straight down at you. Yep. We see a lot of the same stuff from Eskitas. Uh, that that was first in this game. Pretty yeah. Neat. Yeah, like there's a version of Magnificence and the Mirror Shields in Eskitos. Hey, was there ever significance for that one random enemy that spawned? I think that's a joke. <laughs> you see the one guy pop out there. Okay, this is going to be really cool. I'm going to use the shield to score here. It's like the only time I do it in the run practically. Uh, so uh, he lunges at you a few times and then dodging swords at point blank range. This is hot shit. When you learn to do this, the game becomes awesome and you love it. Uh, so I highly recommend people, even on the first little guy with the tiny little sword, I recommend learning how to dodge close around and you can like, practice with him. Yeah, it feels okay. really cool to do that shit. So Sweet. Uh, that's definitely it, it was a rite of passage for me when I went from liking the game to like really liking the game. Cool. Yeah, you got a fucking X60 multiplier there. That's cool. Oh, I hate that laser. <laughs> yeah, that that laser. That laser you want to be moving like right in front of where he's going to be, but straight underneath him, like just to the side and then right at the last minute 
uh, Actually, reverse I, direction. Ideally, you want to move in the opposite direction that um, he's going. Yeah, That's but only at, only at the last minute. This, mm -hmm. this first pattern is impossible, except it's aimed just around you. So as long as you know that, then you have nothing to worry about. Oh. <laughs> so it's not that that was a special safe spot. If, if you, like, Man. don't move just about anywhere, you're safe. Simon! <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's not Simon yet. Oh, okay, okay. Simon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like remembering the commercials now. <laughs> Fucking A. <clears throat> you don't want to dodge this pattern too far back because they get too spread out and you have too much distance to cover. Now this, the homing laser that follows you around forever before finally touching you. Yeah, they are on it, your ass. They, they really, like, it's a good way of rising the tension. When you get used to the rhythm and stuff, it's not that bad. Well, these things are a pain. Uh, I recommend for people trying to dodge this attack, uh, they look huge. Their front has a huge hitbox, but, like, the dark spot behind them, uh, you, you can move through. So try to, like, okay, this is like Simon. They, they come out, and then they fire in the order they came out. Mm, oh. So you, you really gotta watch how they come out then. Yeah, okay. and now now this is really like the crazy version of it because it just keeps going. Simon, <laughs> you don't want to move so much that you get sandwiched in between the lasers and the vine flow itself. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I... <laughs> Some people probably don't know what uh, Simon is. You have, uh, I'll have to like make it a video response um, to the YouTube video, uh, the Simon game, so people know know what that is exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was international. Maybe it was. I don't really. Soda, do you know? Do you know about Simon? Then again, I'm probably a bit younger than you guys. Uh, yeah, it's that it's like it's almost I'm too young to know about it, and I'm 30, so I, I think it's still uh, it's still a thing though. I think that's still like like a like an iPhone. What the fuck? Yeah, intentional glitch graphics are awesome. It's like ESP Galuda. Probably like an iPhone Simon app. <laughs> okay, so that was the last boss. And that was the true last boss, which is actually a boss rush of three bosses. Not now that's happening? Yeah. Okay. I've never seen this. So... Wait, so is there a condition for getting here? Or... Uh, one CC. That's oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sweet. This guy's lots, got lots of crazy patterns. It's the, uh, Tetris L block. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, I do a lot of damage to this guy with my point blanking, so he, he does have additional patterns that you're not seeing because I'm killing him before he goes through a full cycle. I see. Like this pattern? The weird yeah, the one, pentagram the one laser. It, yeah, the one after this is really intense, but Dang, he never awesome. lasts that long. Did you guys see that? I got greedy. <laughs> I used my shield because I knew he was almost dead. <laughs> that was a really cool, cool one. Okay, this next one is probably the hardest boss in the game. Uh, to to my knowledge, it's impossible to beat him without dying at least once. Like probably it's theoretically possible, but I'll be damned if it can be done. Uh, you'll know the attack that I think is almost impossible when it comes. Uh, it'll be pretty obvious. Yeah, look at this. Are there yeah, other shmups with bullets bouncing around? Yeah, the yeah, they got bringing it back, yo. And it just keeps going. Like, the bullets just never go away. <laughs> and then they yeah, stop. For those who don't, yeah, uh, for those who don't know, these bullets can actually destroy your shield if you try to use it on them. Yeah, yeah, so there's a very good reason I'm not shielding there. Is that is this the one? No, 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 I can dodge that one on a good day. Yeah. Come on, that's hot. Dodging that that was... So oh, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> this pattern. Oh, wow. 
So I can do the first wave, and then it gets even crazier. Holy shit. And I, I can dodge that, like I can do maybe three times longer than you've seen on that second pattern, and it's still not over. Is he gonna then, What the? It's, it's like an epic execution. Like I've been judged, and I'm not worthy. That was so That's cool. That's Judgment Silver Sword right there. <laughs> no wonder you can't dodge Oh, it. that was... Did you guys see that? Yep. Uh, I, I thought I was good, but I, I was very not Said good. no. Okay. Said Simon. True, 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 last boss here. Three freaking swords. Dude, that judgment. Holy. So, this guy gives you a million points when you kill him. So, it's really important to have a good multiplier. Like, that's... Oh half your score, or yeah. half my score with how well I'm doing in the rest of the game right now. Oh. So, uh, you'll see here, I've died twice, and, okay, I'm like, I know he's almost dead, but I need to win it with a good multiplier, so I, I intentionally kill myself there, just so that I can go kamikaze style and jack up my multiplier super high to get the million points times Whoa. 20. Did it add the extra 10 for the multiplier when you killed them? Because it's yes. like, yep. jack, okay. Yes. It yeah, jacked yeah. Up. so like bullets connecting, enemies dying, those things jack up the multiplier. And uh, if I had tried to kill him, but like died uh, and, and ended with like a times 10 multiplier, my score would be much weaker. Uh, so uh, the life bonus at the end of the game, you get 2 million for every extra life. Uh, so trading 2 million for a guaranteed like 30 million for killing the guy is a very good trade. So... Right, right. Um, Oh, uh, is it possible to pause here? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I just like to dedicate this run to my friend Scub, uh, who is awesome enough to play this game um, the day before I did this record. Uh, <laughs> so you can see uh, the leaderboard filled with C Thief or Color Thief myself. Uh, and the uh, first position is now occupied by Scub, uh, who was the last person to enter his initials before I played the game. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Pretty random. Uh, yeah, oh, that was, yeah, that was awesome. Shit. Judgment Silver Sword. Dude, I that mean, judgment, like that man. Is, yeah. That judgment. It's. I I like that the enemies. Um, I don't know. It's not just all bullet curtains and stuff. You really have to know your enemies, like learning the enemies and their behaviors. Uh, is almost more important than like memorizing stages or something. Like you're learning concepts, not um, stages. So right. uh, I really like that about the game. Uh, I think that smooths out the learning curve. Uh, it's almost like a, a Xanak that's not afraid to kill you. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Awesome. And yeah, that was something that was also carried over in Eschatos is that kind of randomness too, which I, which I do enjoy. None of the patterns are. No, they're, they're never the same. But yeah, you kind of gotta approach them in a in a in a certain uh, in a certain way. So yeah, pretty interesting. Like there are lots of sections in the game that fire slow, huge bullets that are either aimed at you or around you and stuff. And the enemies spawn in kind of random locations, so you really have to read where they are, and you can't just dodge it the same way every time. But yeah, Gus, no skin. Um, that, never mind. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Uh, anything else to say about Judgment Silver Sword before we go on to Cardinal Sins? Yeah, everybody needs to play this game. It's awesome. You dodge swords. <laughs> it is pretty good. I mean, you convinced yeah, me. Is... Sorry, you convinced me. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you dodge swords. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, the video we're watching is the CS trial of one four three nine three seven nine five zero, right? Uh, one point three nine. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's four, it. Four three nine. Okay. Yeah. Right, so, cool. Cardinal Sins. We're watching a run that's my personal best. Uh, it's number one on the Xbox leaderboard. Uh, number two on the leaderboard uh, is Koa, who's right here with us. Uh, so for some reason, the two best players of this game are both like Canadian and live pretty close to each other. Uh, it's kind of weird. 
Oh yeah, what did you say earlier? Uh, or, no, Koa said uh, it's uh, Canada's national shmup, right? Yeah, it's cardinal sins. It's like Canada sins or something. Like it's it's the. Uh... <laughs> <Ten>. <laughs> Canada yeah, so sins. You, my my run here, it's um, well, the, the scoring is a fair bit different. Uh, cardinal sins is a game where it's it's a caravan style. Uh, so it's meant to be played with a fixed period of time, which is usually like pretty short. Um, but what separates us from other caravan style games, it's actually seven one minute caravans back to back. Uh, each one is one of the seven sins. Uh, so they kind of theme a gimmick uh, unique to each sin uh, and um, you're ranked on it and like so as in getting like an A rank, B rank, or like S rank. Uh, getting S ranks is worth mega points. Um, like that's most of my score. Uh, in fact, Koa can get all S ranks and I can get all S ranks and we both score extremely high. Uh, where the scoring difference comes up, I think I, I'm roughly 10 million above him. Um, all of those points you really have to fight for in comparison. So uh, it's not like getting a huge S rank bonus. It like you have to jack up your multiplier and actually earn the points uh, from killing stuff uh, in uh, fancy ways. So um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be easy for someone out there, especially after watching the video, but I really had to work hard uh, to take my score from where Koa's is uh, to, to 10 million points higher. Let's see. Uh, and then did you did you mention uh, the um, that each stage uh, you got you got there's a specific condition yeah um, that you got to meet I guess I suppose we'll get into that as we go through each one I guess yeah some of them are, are are pretty weird I should probably just do it as they happen um, yeah 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 but yeah so each sin or stage has a condition that you're supposed to meet to correctly get the S rank S rank yeah is, and is the uh, idea. and then they they kind of show you your uh, your your report card at the end. And uh, if you get all S ranks, which I was never able to do in school, but uh, if you get all S ranks, uh, then you earn like a, a boss battle. And there are a few variations of that boss battle, uh, depending on how high you ranked overall. And it has to be S rank? Um, I forget what the thresholds are. Um, I think so, uh, someone tweeted uh, the SCG weekly account that it's like you have to be have overall C or better to see the final boss or something like that. Yeah, but there's like, like the to to see the the final form of the final boss, you need better than a C. You need oh. like maybe an A or something. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Did you know that one, Koa? Like, so do you know? What in? Do, yeah. Do you know what you need to uh, to get the the full final boss? I wasn't actually uh, too sure because there was actually a debate over it and we couldn't really figure it out in the end. Hmm. Yeah, at the end of the day, though, you want to be aiming for the ranks anyways. Um, like, it's a non-issue. Like, I, you can get it every time with practice. So it's, it's not like a, a mysterious condition that, that's going to, like, meaningfully affect your play. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um... All right, I suppose we can get into it then. Um, this is a, quite a bit of a shorter replay, so yeah, we're going to be really machine gunning this commentary here, I bet. Yeah, like uh, the each sin has one minute, uh, and then there's the boss fight afterwards. So it's like a 10 minutes plus bonus, or 7 minutes plus plus boss fight, I mean. Then, yeah, so I mean, uh, you, you have the same uh, kind of mechanics from Judgment Silver Sword, right? Yeah, uh, same, same ship same attacks uh it really the the patterns even like they call it a uh, judgment silver sword recycle edition i th i think that's an alternate name for this game and it's really it's all the same assets from judgment silver sword uh even so far as to borrow borrow whole attack patterns from different areas of judgment silver sword yeah it just layers new gimmicks on top of them so right. it, it really is mostly recycled content but the gameplay itself is pretty fresh Gotcha. And then um, there was like a revision to the game when the, when the Eschatos at least came out. Uh, is, was, is that true or do you know anything about that? Uh, so the, 
the original version of this was not a Wonder Swan cart. Uh, uh-huh. It was a free release for the uh, Wonder Witch, uh, which was like a a homebrew like flash cart type add on. Oh, OK. So, That's what the Wonder Witch is. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if there are any emulators that can even run this, but it's it's kind of the sort of hardware it ran on is at this bizarre like area where this is probably the only game worth playing on it. So maybe people haven't worked hard enough to emulate it properly. Uh, someone should should maybe look into that after the 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 stream or something but um yeah basically i have no experience whatsoever with the uh the original release i only uh know this re-release gotcha gotcha and i mean that's another reason to uh get escata so get that version indeed all right so anything else before we get into the replay no should be good all right cool then uh actually do a countdown all right we'll get going in this three Two, one, click. So you can see, big difference already. I'm using my shield all over the place. What's the condition here, real quick? Oh, the the first one is super simple. You have to kill everything. Okay. If you let even one thing go, then you'll get an A rank, or if you let more go, you'll get lower than A. Yeah. So you see, like, I'm really killing everything with my shield, pretty much. Uh, now, that is giving me more points, but I'd also like to point out that this level in general is not worth a lot of points. So it, the time investment of learning how to use your shield and like what the patterns are going to be and planning it this aggressively, it's a relatively low payoff. OK. Uh, Definitely, I, I, I would suggest everyone just focus on the S ranks before doing anything else. Gotcha. It's a good tip. Alright, got it 100% yep. there. So the, this second one, uh, they take the uh, extend mechanic from the uh, Judgment Silver Sword, and they like crank it up a notch. So they come a lot more often, uh, and you have to get as many extends as possible. And if you die, that like takes away from it. Basically, you, you're, the number of extends you have at the end of the level is uh, going to determine your your rank. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, you, you, you can, can also you can also kill your extends in this one, which does not happen in Judgment Silver Sword. <laughs> um, so a big part of it is you have to keep killing shit, but you also can't shoot your extend. So I'd say yeah. um, to help people out with that. Switching to your straight shot is sometimes useful because it's not going to hit your extend unless you're right under it. Also, your extend is invincible until it starts falling. So when it shoots upwards, uh, oh. you, you can keep shooting a little longer. Good tip. Yeah. Um, you also you can't collect it until, until it starts falling as well. OK, this level's super weird. Uh, you, uh, it's like it's like Pokemon or something. You have to collect one of every bullet, see one of every attack pattern, destroy one of every enemy, uh, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You'll notice me intentionally dying here. I'm using my shield so aggressively that I'm dying to recharge my shield. Uh, every single one of the sins starts you with new, a fresh set of lives, so there's no incentive for staying alive the whole time. Gotcha. Um, so the big point bonus that I get for... Um, a manual death you'll see here i'm gonna die and then i'm going to charge the boss so i very carefully time my death there and now i lunge in and soak up all those bullets Dang. so yeah um there in addition to all the bullets and all the enemies, there are like two secrets in this level. It goes by too fast for me to really explain them. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so pry here. Uh, you have to get as many times 100 multipliers as possible. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, that's, one, one, that's the objective. Okay. Yeah, that's the objective. Uh, so it's it's just the normal scoring mechanic, but jacked up. I wonder uh, I was always sucking at that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got X100 not even once when I was playing. <laughs> and the more you kill, the more the rank goes up. Um, when you get to like this stage, I, I switch from using a lot of shield to just 
using a lot of uh, bullets. Uh, you see, I I will I will die once here. That cost me about 150,000 points. So it's it's a flaw, but in the grand scheme of the score, it's it's not the end of the world. Uh, and you see, I recovered and got lots of hundreds. Still got 268. I think you need 200 to get the S rank. Does that sound right, Koa? Um, I think it's 225. I'm not remember. I don't remember. Okay. My record's over 300, though. So like, all of the S ranks have very generous goals. Okay, this one, uh, it's kind of like the first one, but a slightly different variation. You have to kill as many waves as possible. So. You won't advance to the next wave unless you kill all the enemy of the previous wave. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, I think you need 11 waves to get the S rank, and my my record's 13. So, like, if if you know how to kill these guys, it, this should be a freebie. Once again, the shot and the wide technique come in and in the hand handy. Yes, the speed kills from doing that are critical to getting the 13. It really opens up the game to be less uh, less challenging. <laughs> well, like, uh, like it, it's a really tight quota to meet to get 11 without the, uh, the rapid fire is what I mean. Uh, this one uh, has uh, bullet canceling. Like, see those glowing circles? Yep. It cancels all bullets into point items. And so. enemies also drop items. And you have to get as many point items as possible. Gotcha. I, was, I know when I first played this, I was a little bit surprised to see a uh, bullet canceling <laughs> like and that. And the one game, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. Was it was this cave or what's going on here? <laughs> okay, this wave is pretty cool. Um, I jack my multiplier up. And then I try to damage them so that you kill them both at the same time. Because mm. because if you kill one, and then by the time you kill the other, your multiplier is not going to be high anymore. Oh. Uh, like you only have enough juice to get one good multiplier. Ah, uh, okay. Time, time it out. Cool. Yeah. So 381. I think you need 300 for the uh, for the S. Oh, this. So this one. Uh, it counts how many times you die, and you need zero for an S rank. Yeah. Uh, as time moves forward, the rank constantly goes up, so it becomes a more and more difficult boss fight. But every time you kill the mirror shield, uh, which is pretty down. quickly, it brings it down. Yeah. And it's kind of like a slippery slope. If you don't get a few good kills on this guy, uh, it's going to get so hard that you can't really kill him aggressively, and it's going to like get even harder from there because you're not killing him. Yeah. Um, so it's really, 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 really important to be super aggressive at the beginning of this and uh, get some kills. That's cool. Um, and it's a lot more manageable once you do that. So this is one where like playing for score and playing for survival, you wouldn't expect it, but they go hand in hand a little bit because killing that guy is making your life a lot simpler. Nice. So those are S ranks. That's all seven. Uh, so it's going to load up the uh, the boss fight soon. Sweet. Now loading. Paluto, some nice English there. Ah. This th this area is also called Apoca Rips. Ah. So this they they send out mirror shield after mirror shield here. It's kind of funny. One at a time, then two at a time, and then I think three at a time here. And whatever or, bonus yeah, yeah. is actually based on your rank. Yeah, yeah, like those those S's that fall down that yeah. give me a ton of points. Uh, they're based on your rank. So oh, you get sweet. S's. I think B's give you one ups, like extends instead of uh, point oh. items. Oh, so, really? So one million. Interesting. Yeah. So I skip a fair few patterns on this boss, being aggressive with the uh, the the wide straight combo is is really useful um, so you see here 
He, there's a whole, like, several attacks there. I, I skipped at least two attack patterns. And they're here because it wouldn't be Judgment Silver Sword without dodging swords. They have a sword wave. Right. Reminds me of a section from uh, the original Twin B arcade. Got, like, these, like, metallic thingies floating like that. <laughs> Cool. They have like stylized colorless too, like a, I guess an homage to the original Mono Wonder Swan or possibly Game Boy. Oh, okay, um, sure. These are really. I don't know how well it comes out in the stream, but there are these like things that home at you, and they trail bullets. They don't shoot bullets. It's, it's like that's a crazy pattern to dodge until you learn how to do it. Um, Kind of goes by pretty fast, but yeah, it did. Yeah. And then apparently there was plot, so enjoy some like really depressing apocalyptic uh, <laughs> rants. Yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> the streets burned not only with fire but rage, guys. A sword shall be used in the final judgment. Right. Considering all the English, like I, that's got to be copy and pasted from somewhere, but I, I don't know where. Hmm. <laughs> that was awesome. That was real um, awesome. Yeah, see, yeah. See here, well, while well, it's going by, but um, yeah, that showed my personal best because the game keeps track of not only your score but your individual uh, like F goal scores. Like how how many point items did you get in that one stage? What mm -hmm. percentage of the bullets and enemies and attack patterns did you get, and that kind of thing? Uh, so, uh, pretty much every level is pretty forgiving. Uh, when you learn all your options, uh, you have a lot of leeway in terms of what you do. Um, in fact, in the replay that just happened, I'm not always trying to get the the most of whatever the S rank needs. It's like I can more than meet the S rank and I'm sacrificing some point items or some whatever in order to get a slightly higher score. Mm. So it's like you have to get so good at the scoring system that you can afford to ignore it in certain locations, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's kind of the, high, the higher level once you get past the objectives, gotcha. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, there there is a I think there is a decent guide on the uh, shmups forum as far as the isn't there like for the uh, you know the different conditions. Well, maybe there isn't, but I'm gonna try to link something so people kind of know um, where to kind of look that up because I know a few of the a few of those stages in the Cardinal Sims are weird. Well, specifically the uh, one with the uh, like the um, all the different bullets you need to absorb and stuff yeah that that one's kind of lame everything else i think just with a brief description people can yeah. probably manage on their own okay. but that one you, you kind of have to like what you am gotta, i missing i yeah. thought i got everything like, like you got to catch them all as you say yeah come on yeah <laughs> yeah i made a video for it just to show what each one does oh cool yeah um you have to give me a link for that and i'll and i'll put it in their, their description yeah and the, the two great. bonus ones are, are critical there. They're super weird. One of them is like start the screen, uh, like start the uh, this that pattern like in the bottom right of the screen. Oh, yeah. Like in the corner. And um, and there's another one where there's an invisible item on the screen and you have to know where it is and shoot it. And and then you get another bonus. Like right. it, it's pretty weird. Right, right. Cool. Well, yeah, um, these replays are pretty awesome. I suppose uh, to kind of wrap up our um, thoughts on the games, I guess. Uh, mm, you guys want to like kind of give your like uh, I don't know, just general uh, I don't know impressions or uh, kind of selling points for the games or something like that. And I suppose we could probably wrap it up. Yeah. yeah do you want to go first, Koa? Um, I don't really have much to say. <laughs> cool <laughs> okay 
I don't know. I, I hope people can appreciate this game for like being a really different style. I mean, if you guys have seen or played Eskatos and Game of Force, those yeah. are pretty fresh as well. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, M. Kai was making some pretty fresh stuff all the way back with Judgment Silver Sword as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's hard, but forgiving at the same time. I don't know, like with all the extends and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, yep. It's it, it's got like just this really nice learning curve to it. Uh, it feels really fair. Like there there's a good mixture of like slow aimed bullets or like fast aimed bullets, and the game is like nice enough to have like a loud sound effect going out as it's fired. So you can do lots of really cool like reflexive sound based tap dodging and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You dodge freaking swords. Uh, I <laughs> yeah. The Simon thing. <laughs> yeah, the Simon thing. Uh, I, we're, we're not looking at it here, but Cola's got a really sweet um, replay of special mode being cleared. Um, so we haven't shown that at all, but there's a boss rush mode, uh, which even has some uh, bosses that are unique to the boss rush mode. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's really, really cool. And uh, E3 is the name of the last boss in that mode. And E3 in particular has a lot of those Simon type attack patterns. Oh, cool! So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, what was I gonna say? Um, shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad that more people are slowly getting into this game, even after, even like a few years after its, after its release. Yeah, I like I don't want to insult Eskatos, but honestly, uh it's worth buying Eskatos just for this game. Forget about that's, Eskatos itself. That's pretty much why I bought it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, a lot of people have yeah, do say that yeah, the, the yeah, these games are, pr are are uh, you know, pretty much as good if not better than Eskatos. But I mean, Eskatos is obviously there as well. Um, yeah, this, this game's pretty great, even if the music is only slightly better than Xevious. Yeah, I was going to say, my only complaint is that the right. music is, like, about Xevious level. Right. <laughs> 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 well, at least they stepped it up in Eskatos and Ginga Force. I mean, oh, music yeah. in those games is oh, yeah. fucking, like, some of the best I've heard in a game, so... Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, once again, uh, they had the games that are on uh, Eskatos. You get the Wonder Price version for forty bucks. You can also get the double pack, uh, which has King of Force and Eskatos for like eighty bucks or whatever. But then you get all these games. You get the yeah. MKI collection basically uh, with that uh, double pack. Yeah, four it's really games awesome. for eighty bucks. Like you can't beat that. They're all good games. Yep. Yep. Um. And, oh yeah. So then, uh, yeah. There's a there's a secret ship too. If you, how, what's the condition for getting that in uh, Judgment Silver Sword? Or I know there's a couple other secrets. Uh, so we want to talk about it, that real quick. Is it beating special mode, Koa? Um. Isn't it like one CC or, or something? I think you have to beat hard. Beat, beat hard. To get the gold ship, I think in, that's what I'm referring to here. Yeah, we're probably not the best people to ask because we unlocked it a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. No, we did get these scores like about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, I got my Cardinal Skins sin scores about two years ago. <laughs> Cardinal Skins. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, I suppose you can wrap it up then. Uh, it's dangerous, it's devious, it's devious. Yeah. Uh, it's from Acid Rain there. <laughs> Beat normal to unlock special, then clear special. Okay. That's what Igna, Ig Enigma Chaos says. Well, he would know better than we would. Yeah. <laughs> have to, oh, you have to... Okay, beat normal. I see. And then you can, you can just beat it with just credit feeding, I think, is, is the thing to unlock the special. Well, there's a lot of other ways to, to beat it, too. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, um, yeah, we didn't talk about it. Oh, sorry, go on, Koa. Like, uh, one of the examples is using the super shot to just plow through the game. Right, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have to go, go back and, yeah, definitely use that because I still haven't beat it myself. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we didn't mention it, but the game has, like, a leveling system, like metagame, just like Eskatos, where uh, every time you get points, it gets added to this grand total career points type thing. Right. And uh, the option levels. 
Exactly. So you can unlock extra continues or free play or God mode even like uh, and if you really, really have to, you, you can use those cheats to unlock special mode and the secret ship and so on. Like there's no shame in that as long as you turn them off when you play those modes later. Right. Awesome. Well, I think this has been uh, pretty awesome to check out these replays. Um, I know we had a, actually a lot of requests to uh, do these games for SCG Weekly, so it's really cool that we got to get this one down. I know uh, you know, Frenetic originally contacted you about this one. Um, but unfortunately, I guess he couldn't make it today, but he, he's, he'll probably just be happy that we got around to it. And uh, yeah, um, of course, I had my power my power out yesterday, so I missed the episode, but of course, we got it. Got it going on now, but I think that's going to wrap it up for SCG Weekly number 26. So yeah, thanks everyone for coming by, and we will have I will have a few of the links to uh, uh, Koa's channel and uh, you know the, those replays that we mentioned, and uh, maybe some other information uh, for the games in the YouTube description. But yeah, that'll wrap it up. So yeah, thank you, Color Thief, for coming on, and Koa. Thanks. No, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah, no worries. It's really good, and Soda, of course. Thank you for streaming. <laughs> I You're love welcome. you. <laughs>